Hi, my name is Peter Minon, and I'd like to talk to you about my artwork in the exhibition, Searching for Nuance. During my studies into visual arts at James Cook University, I would typically work objectively, drawing and painting meticulous portraits, still lifes, and landscapes. I was able to recreate a coherent representation of the world on paper with a proud representation of my own humanity in slightly crooked and broken lines that added a unique style while articulating the subject in a very readable way. I wanted to take my art a little bit further without compromising the discipline I had learnt to master. I began to explore how I might navigate the space around the subject with motifs and patterns such as swirls and parallel or intersecting lines. I commenced these exhibited pieces with a tax snake. Is a sketch I began of a pet carpet python I used to care for. If you look at the snake's posture, it is curled up in a tight spiral which reduces its area to the smallest size it can defend, while poking its head out in an S shape which allows it to strike out when it wants to attack and then recoil to protect itself after letting a threat know what it is prepared to do to defend itself. The blue swirls in the background are a representation of my perception of the snake emitting a notion or a vibe that it is in its defensive position. With the swirls cut from sheet media used in sign writing, I cast the blue resins, which also glow in the dark once they are charged by UV light. Then using mold making techniques, I cast the snake, painted it with oil paints using glazing techniques, and then I embedded it into the swirls with a poured clear resin cast that was framed by the original former. After completing Attack Snake, I commenced Disruptions in the Harmony of Nature. Disruptions in the Harmony of Nature is a drawing which is predominantly made up of a series of parallel lines making various shapes and framed within these lines you can see my feet, my sketch pad and a hand which is creating a visual representation of what I was seeing at the time. Thinking of these lines as the fabric of the universe, the parallel nature of the lines and the patterns alludes to a harmony within the nature that surrounds us. In this artwork, you can see swirls disrupting this harmony. I began to think about casting the parts in resin so they could be constructed as a kit of parts to create a whole piece of artwork that comes out of the surface and towards the viewer, the intent to create a tactile artwork that can be engaged with as much by touching it and feeling it as much as seeing it visually. This disruption emanates from objects which do not belong there. Pieces of litter are the source of this disruption. A piece of paper, a broken bottle and a cigarette butt. Litter. Searching for nuance brings to the viewer a rich concept of perception of the invisible world. Represented visually, this exploration is also adapted to a new media that, manipulated with sculptural techniques, opens a new avenue for access to visual art using non-visual sense of touch. I invite you to engage with my art. Thank you.